It's a day of celebration for the country as Chandrayaan-3 has successfully landed on the south pole of the lunar surface. I'm joined by Dr. Uh, Unikrishan Naya and Dr. Patma Kumar here. Unikrishan Naya is the uh, director of the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and Dr. Patma Kumar is the uh, director of ISSU. Uh, I'm, so firstly, congratulations to both of you. Um, it's, a great, it's a great moment. Firstly, I would like to ask both of you, how important for the common people here who are watching this, how important is this mission for ISRO, for the scientists of India and for the nation? So it's a mission that will touch the lives of everyone in the country. Uh, like you can, you take students. Students are all excited about science, engineering, technology and they definitely they will have a feeling that they should also pursue science and then that will enrich our science. Secondly, we are exploring moon and you also become part of uh, moon's exploration. There we will get data about moon's uh, properties, surface properties and the atmosphere. That will give us more and more data for our future missions. Thirdly, then we are all talking about resources, resource crunch on earth. Like many things are getting depleted like fossil fuel and other things. So they, we are also, this will give us uh, no opportunity to look at resources from moon. You know, for example, helium-3 is one typical um, material, material available in moon that can give you very safe energy for, uh, like a you know, safe nuclear fission for energy producing. So like that, when you explore the unknown, you get more and more uh, data, you get, you see more and more scope for detecting more and more rare materials. That will definitely help uh, us to have a better life on Earth. And so it has got a multiplier effect. Many segments of uh, population will be affected. Students will be having one way of uh, you know, excitement. And the uh, industries, they are all part of it. They all will be excited to become part of this mission. So it has got a... Uh, see, sometimes we may not be able to uh, you know, evaluate or put a value what is the future or what is the outcome of this mission because it affects every everyone and it is contributing to a bigger and a better India. So, uh, coming to you, so uh, one week ago, Russia's Luna 25 crash landed on the moon surface. So, after that, there were a lot of discussions about what will happen to Chandrayaan because all eyes were on Chandrayaan 3, India Chandrayaan 3 mission. So, what was going through all your minds when this discussion was going on? Was there any apprehension? Were there flashbacks from Chandrayaan 2 in your mind? Not really, because we were very sure about the Chandrayaan 3 design on which we had invested uh, so much of uh, effort and uh, uh, our uh, reviews okay so we were not really worried in fact we were uh, we looked at uh, the they published uh, 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 story of uh, that mission and uh, we uh, we were told that there uh, there was certain reason for uh, for it uh, to meet that failure and uh, we knew in our design all those kind of things are taken care of well it reminds that such missions are very very complex so, Russia, this time they missed it. We could make it. Last time we missed it, we could make it. So, it's a, as a scientific community, you know, we are very sad that Russia's Luna uh, lost its uh, target. But then if they were also landed properly, we would have got more data. Right. So, now that uh, the uh, Chandrayaan-3 has successfully landed on the uh, near the south pole of the Luna surface, what next? What next means with respect to Chandrayaan? With, with, with respect to the operations, with respect to the scientific experiments that is going to be carried out? The, the, no, we have done, we have achieved the most difficult part of it. In the entire mission, taking off from here to the landing, the most complex part is coming out of the moon's orbit and making a soft landing because there is no atmosphere. And there is no, we, in Earth's atmosphere, always the air is killing 99% of the energy. But in moon's surface, it is continuously getting accelerated under the acceleration of, of uh, moon. Mm. So it's important that we, at the right time, we fire the thrusters in the opposite direction and the attitude is held in such a way that we make, the, we meet the velocity profile and make the soft landing. So that way, it was a very exciting mission and we could achieve. Now, moon's gravity is just one-sixth of Earth. So when you land, the thrusters were firing and the uh, the dust has been kicked out by that. So, if the dust, because the gravity is less and there is no wind, just takes some time to settle. So, the first part is just wait. So, everything calms down, the dust will settle. It may take few hours. Then you open the ramp and the, uh, the rover will come out. And then there are uh, payloads in lander. There is payload in uh, rover. 
and then there is a payload in propulsion module which is orbiting. All these payloads will start collecting data because we don't have much time. We have only one lunar day that is roughly 14 Earth days. So the idea is to gather maximum information of all the payloads and collect the information, send it to Earth through the uh, Bangalore station will collect the data and it will be used by the scientific community. They will analyze, they will find yes. what is that surprise holding up there. So Chandrayaan 3 success. Chandrayaan 3 success has put India's uh, space missions and India's technical prowess in a different level altogether. So how do you see this? How do you see India's moon missions or India's space missions in the future, in the coming days? Oh, uh, you know that uh, already the mission uh, for uh, uh, studying uh, sun is already on the pipeline. Within two weeks, we are going to have the Aditya mission from uh, Sri Harikota. It will be taking on the first week of uh, September, and uh, that is a first step. And uh, the coming, just coming behind it is the Gaganyaan mission, which is obviously the next course of action to take uh, humans to space first. Uh, then probably the humans will uh, we will enable uh, Indians to go to moon also probably in the future. So the first step is first going to the orbit and coming back safely. So that mission is now shaking, taking shape. And uh, maybe early next year, that mission, first uh, uncrewed mission of Gaganyan will be there. Thank you so much, Patumma, sir, for joining News Minute.